Hey, it's Ed here, Ed the Engineer. It's Christmas 2014 and the lovely Joe has just bought me Reason 8, which came with a lot of free rack extensions, one of which, the Korg Poly 6, straight out of the 1980s. Check out this little scope. Look at that sine wave. Okay, it's clipping a little bit, but try and ignore that. I'm just a sound engineer. <laughs> it's um, it's got a sawtooth wave. It's got a pulse wave, which is a square wave to you. Um, and yet, as you can see, and here, we have a smooth perfectly sublime sine wave. How do we do it? Well, we're going to show you. See this here? Voltage controlled filter. It's all about the filter. Back in the days when it was easy to produce square waves, but not so easy to produce sine waves, we used to make our sine waves using filters. Um, if you want to know how to do it, if you want to know how this thing works, if you want to see what we had to do back in the day. Um, sorry, I'm a bit drunk, it's Christmas. Um, watch this series and I will take you through the voltage controlled oscillator. We will talk about the LFO, low frequency oscillator modulator here. This arpeggiator, I mean, Reason has a lot of good arpeggiators, but this is straight out of the 1980s. What else have we got? Unison. Detuned Unison of, it's, look, it's a polyphonic synthesizer. It's the first, one of the first, the first I used polyphonic synthesizers, choruses, voices, lots of multiple voices. It's famous for its chorus effects. Unison here and where is it? Down here. We'll talk about those. Um, envelopes. Mm, yeah, we'll do that as well. What else has it got? External modulation. Um, velocity of the keys, after touch, pitch bend and modulation wheels here, control voltages one and two. The beauty of reason is, is that if we flip the rack around on the back, we have these control voltages. We can control the external modulation from perfectly compatible with any other reason effect. sequencer, whatever you want. So stick around, watch the series, subscribe if this is the kind of thing you want to see. Let me know down below what kind of thing you do want to see if this isn't it, or even if it is, just let me know that I'm going on the right direction. I'll take you through the Poly 6, I'll take you through the other synthesizers, rack extensions that I got with Reason 8. Um, and, um, like I say, subscribe, tell your friends, watch the series, learn how we used to do it in the 1980s, and um, hopefully come up with new things, with all the other things in reason that you can now combine with the old soft synths, well, the old hard where synths that are now emulated with these soft synths. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.